Hey up everyone, we've managed to get out today to do a little bit of metal detecting. Uh, Cameron's just learning. We've had a few finds so far, nothing major, but nonetheless, a find is a find at the moment. Um, it's not just us out here though, we've got an expert metal detectorist with us, that's teaching Cameron, Simon Richardson. He's been on uh, quite a few digs and he's done about 40 years so far on the Towton battlefield. So you could say Cameron's got quite a good mentor. Cameron's learning this, his Duke of Edinburgh award. He's learning it as one of his skills. And all right, he's doing all right so far. Nothing major found, as I've said, but we'll keep the hunt going. We've chosen this area to melt detect because where we're searching river-wise is just down there. And back in the war, this is where the army would be training the divers and there would more than likely be troops wandering around here. Uh, so far it seems to be probably backfilled with green waste by the look of it, but you just never know, it's always worth keep going and it's good learning for Cameron. So let's keep digging, see what we can find. I'll just try following that first, get that one out. Oh, I was looking point it earlier. <laughs> Put it somewhere, I couldn't find it. Whoa. I'm going to dig back here. I'm trying to dig straight down. I'm going to sort of do there because then you're away from it. It's moving. It's moving. Bubble shit of horseshoe. Awesome. So this is the part of the horseshoe Cameron found. I don't think it's particularly old, but we'll get it in the electrolysis tank, get all this rust cleaned off, so we can uh, try and get a better idea of its age. Cameron's efforts with the shovel are interesting. It's the ground, it's too hard. Yeah. So I'm too light. You need to be a fatty like me. Right, I'm ready to see what it is. I think, if we look, there's rust. Yeah. I think it's just picking. It's on this bit as well. Looks like a bit of a tin. You look. Get cleaned up later. When we get back home. Yeah, it could just be a bit of crap, but we'll have a look. We'll try that again. This one. No, yeah, that was it. Just trying to get whatever this is out. Yeah, that's why you got it. Yeah. <clears throat> Probably another nail, but 
There's a lot of rust on the outside. So. Mm. Yeah, don't know. Wow. End of a bomb. Yeah. No idea on that one. Look, you know, it's like this bit. That is a caster. We weren't having much luck in the main field due to a lot of relatively modern rubbish in there. We'll go back there at some point. But we did notice, or Simon noticed, this man-made mound, which originally I thought might be a bit of a flood defence, but when you really look at it, it would be rather pointless. Uh, it could be spoils from when they did the canal, when they dug it out. The canal was opened in 1774. So it could be from that, I don't know. But very overgrown. Some of the trees are quite old, a couple of hundred years. So we decided that we'd take a look. And with its proximity to dive site 2, which you can just see now, there could be some pretty interesting things there. So we decided to take a look. Now, due to the fact that I'm an idiot, I didn't film the digging of the few finds that we had. We didn't have a lot of time here. So I will show you what we found. This was found by Simon. It's the bottom cap of a shotgun shell. It's a, a Remington 12 gauge. Maybe not interesting to some people, but when I managed to find the date for this, it was dated between 1911 and 1914 so it was quite an old find we were very pleased with that one this one was found by Simon as well it's another shotgun cap um, very badly corroded so it's quite hard to see the writing on it but if you look you can just make out a few letters after manipulating the photo quite a bit I managed to work out at the bottom of it said Ripon and the top part says Hodgson, which was a gun maker's back in the 1800s into the 1900s that was local in Ripon, so this was locally made. Now this was a bit of a strange one, it's the name badge for a car. How a name badge for a car has ended up on the top of a mound that you cannot drive up to is anybody's guess. Maybe kids nicked it and lost it up there I don't know but it turned out to be from an Austin Cambridge car so another mystery there was somebody playing around on the top of the hill with a car I doubt it but you just never know this is the tip of a bullet we think that it could be a 303 bullet but I've got to do a little bit more research into that and get the vernier calipers on it to try and confirm what size it is really well it's another day we're back at um, an area we found last time we were metal detecting uh, just calling it the mound it's very close to dive site too um, we found them cartridge ends and that bullet last time we were here but we didn't have a lot of time we've not got a vast amount of time today but Cameron's going out with a metal detector and we're going to see what we can find here. Just give it a quick, well, say a quick going over, maybe a couple of hours here and uh, yeah, we'll see what's here. Just come back from filming some put with a drone, it looks like Cameron's found something. He's been digging a hole. Just in time to see what it is. in there somewhere. Oh, uh, oh. Bomb shot can go up look. And that. It's a bottom of a shotgun cartridge if the phone will focus on it. There we go. 
we'll clean it up and compare it to the ones that we've already got. So yeah, another find. This was a bit of a nightmare to work out what this one was. You can just make out some of the letters. I had to manipulate the photo again, but managed to work out. It's a uh, James Purdy and Sons shotgun cap. Another quite old one, so could have been fired around about the same times as the other ones we've already found. Cameron keeps finding stuff every time I walk away, so maybe I'm not so much luck. Come on, Cameron, where is it? Oh. Oh, oh, I can see it. What have we got? No, it's just that. It's just that strap. Coin. Yeah. Oh wow. So, I think it's another one, one penny, half penny. Be an old half penny that. Not old, I don't know. We'll clean that up and we'll have a. Have a better look. Anything else in the hole? No, it's not got out. No. Awesome. So, we shall continue and I shall try and actually get him digging the hole next time. Another nice find here by Cameron. This is the half penny that he dug up. It turns out it's um, an 1862 half penny, so the oldest coin so far that he's managed to find so he's he's doing really well with that metal detector I'm really really proud of him well guys that's it for for this video um, with our step into metal detecting uh, we will be doing more of that and we will be using the metal detector under the water it's waterproof up to five meters so hopefully that's going to help with finding uh, the artefacts that we're after. Um, now the weather's turning a bit more rubbish and we're not going to be out getting the river as much. I'm hoping to actually be out to get some more videos edited. It's just having the time to sit down, having a full-time job and a young family. It's uh, not always quick and easy to do them, but I'll do them as quick as I can. I've also got a bit of a full workbench here. That's as usual a mess. Uh, we've got the Gradiometer project which is here, that's about ready to test. We've got, this is the canopy for the boat that will have the parts for the Gradiometer in. This will be uh, part of the towing mechanism for it. We've got, under here somewhere, oh, quite a powerful underwater torch to see if we can repair it got flooded and as you can see the batteries have had it uh, but hopefully the electrics are all right so I'm gonna be making some battery packs for that just got to learn how to do it preferably without blowing myself up but it'd make interesting footage I suppose so yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video as I've already said and uh, Hopefully we'll be back soon with more videos. Right, bye for now.